well yeah <coughs> the second case would be error condition would be that you've got a problem at your uh, hardware and you are losing packets i mean some of the data was corrupted while being transported uh, across the, over the wire so crc would fail again so i'm doing a crc check here i'm using the whole trusted crc calculator and i'm, I'm taking a response and and uh, and uh, uh, I, I i say that yeah success goes false and then i return null and I say that CRC has failed. Okay, this is self-explanatory, I believe. And if my response, second byte, second byte of the response, is which is uh, index zero one is zero four, means these conditions are not true. It means CRC has not failed. Error response has not been uh, uh, reported. At the same time. Uh, serial port has not timed out because I've got a time timeout exception up here. So in case timeout happens, I'm saying that yeah, in, yeah th th this this typically shows that yeah, you've got a cut wire or maybe your hardware is not working. Maybe your, your converter has some problem or maybe converter is pulled out of your laptop or maybe wires are not corrected, just like that. So in that case, you'll have this this uh, catch function firing. So if you don't have those issues still here, that means the data you got from the device is fine. In that case, again, I'm making a byte array, and again, I'm, I'm so that I'm, I'm uh, it's it's a temporary array I'm making. It's not even uh, it's a function level um, variable. I'm I'm taking the shots means two bytes, and I'm trying to convert it into uh, and. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm really converting it in, uh, in a in a short array, array of uh, shorts or U shorts. U shorts are better. Okay, U means unsigned, means only positive, and just short is 16 bit, both positive and negative. Okay, so I'm I'm, I'm just uh, taking these two bytes, clubbing it, and convert converting it, and then making it uh, converting it to integer 16. Okay, straightforward. Second other way I could have done it is that I take the number U short and I would I would have casted it to U short and then I would have odd the first byte on left side and the second uh, actually first byte shifted eight times left side and odd with the second byte straight away and then casting with U short would give you the same result. Whichever you find easier, yeah. This is this is short, yeah. So and in this case, if this happens, yeah, I call that yeah, uh, everything was fine. It's it's a case success, and then I'm returning the data. And again, this byte array is get it is returned by my driver to the to the uh, to the method or function or the application which is which is calling. And else, and if all these fails, means something. <laughs> I've never seen this piece of code fire, but then yeah, I've just added it just for sake. And this is, this is a catch for timeout, and this is a catch in case you know some crazy things happen. I'm finally closing uh, my serial port. This is the check response. One thing to be noted here is that while checking the response and not zeroing out the LSB or MSB, I, I'm just calculating it over over the over the over the response I get, so don't get confused here. Okay, it, it may look like little, little awkward, but it will make sense. Yeah, once you, once you see that, and and once uh, it's all done, then then uh, you're gonna be seeing uh, um, this is this is the piece of code I've, I've I've shared here, so that you know how to use my driver here. So you actually call a serial, make a serial port, and then give these values. Give it a baud rate, then data weight is eight all the time. Baud rate is okay. These settings, these setting, yeah, this serial port setting has to be same in your application, in your uh, operating system, and also has to be same inside the PLC. So unless these at these three places, if these settings are not same, then you won't have a successful communication. So come to baud is this 
data bits 8 stop bit is 1 parity is not read and write timeouts are uh, 1 second and 1 and a half second and uh, reading byte uh, receive byte threshold actually I'm not using it but still I mean it's by default one I'm, I'm just uh, actually it doesn't make much sense and I'm, I'm not doing any handshake that means I'm not doing any X on X off handshake that is software handshake or CTS RTS handshake I expect that uh, my piece of hardware is very fast and responsive and so is the case with uh, PLC and then you make an array uh, array of shots then you the application just calls hey I mean uh, static function read analog input get AI device ID 1 starting end is this these many bytes this is serial port and then then uh, data has this data inside it and then you have the values then you really have the values of uh, analog input in my case that's if you are uh, going through all these videos uh, then in my case channel number seven mm -hmm. where is channel seven channel not seven is not added here okay <clears throat> so inside the byte array this is self-explanatory okay these are the integers so i'm just making a little string here and converting naming it some other values and then then just 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 uh, kind of in case this static uh, Mm. AI has any error and I'm, I'm trying to message it up here if anything goes wrong otherwise I'm putting all these values up here and I'm, the GUI the user interface gets to see the number you know, popping up you know sounds like magic well so this is this is the piece of driver and uh, I'll really uh, test it I'll, I'll really uh, test it uh, on uh, on real hardware now so <clears throat> uh, probably I'll not be having you know sound in that uh, video so I'm, uh, my PLC is everything my PLC is connected to my laptop and uh, and uh, I will just uh, I will just I will just uh, I will just uh, uh, I will just uh, run this piece of code and then see what kind of response do I get from my device I've got a PT100 connected at channel number 7 all other channels should be reading you know some nonsense values and uh, the, these are these are all the drivers for uh, other functions okay at the moment I've got uh, uh, at the moment I've got uh, <laughs> Where did it go? Read, read, read. Digital input, read. Yeah, this is what it is. This is the driver I was talking about. So, I'll I'll, I'll be firing it uh, to my PLC, and in the next video, I'll I'll sh I'll, I'll I'll show you the result. Well. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.